Hey, welcome back to YT Finance, and this is the channel where I went to business school so you didn't need to, and today we are talking about the top six stocks to buy right now. Four of these stocks are going to be worth less than $100, so you should easily be able to afford these stocks, and then the last two stocks, one of them is going to be over $100, and the other is going to be an absolutely phenomenal long-term stock to hold. So for more videos like this one, remember to go and smash that like button right now, comment your favorite stock down below, subscribe if you are new, and without further ado, let's just jump right into today's stories. So we're going to start off talking about why the overall stock market is absolutely plummeting, which would include the Nasdaq Composite, which has fallen around 26% just in the last six months. And while other investors are selling their shares, this is a time where I actually like to buy companies that are currently undervalued, because as the stock price is falling in these various companies, I find them to be a fantastic buying opportunity, because I am a long-term stockholder, which means I buy and hold stocks for over five to ten years depending on my particular play or what I think of that particular company. However, regardless of that, I love to invest into ETFs such as VOO and VTI. I actually dollar cost average into both of these ETFs, especially as the stock market continues to fall. Now, the stocks mentioned in this video are mainly below $100, and these stocks have dropped anywhere from 35% down to 70% just this year, and these are going to be long-term holding opportunities for long-term investors. If you're into trading stocks or short-term plays, this is probably not the video for you. But if you want to build a long-term wealth, then this video is absolutely going to be exactly what you're looking for. And the first company that we're going to talk about is PayPal. And PayPal Holdings Inc. basically has a technology platform that operates a plethora of various digital payments. So this is a digital payment company and they are absolutely massive. According to Statista, they actually projected that the global mobile wallet transaction volume is set to grow by around 60% by 2025, and this is going to be absolutely phenomenal news for companies such as PayPal, ticker symbol PYPL. PayPal is a very established company, and it's really profiting from growing their customer base, which currently has around 429 million active accounts, which is absolutely crazy. However, as of late, they have experienced some deceleration in their sales growth due to ending their partnership with eBay, and this, paired with a plethora of other macroeconomic factors, has sent the PYPL stock absolutely plummeting down more than 70% from their 52-week high. Currently, the PYPL stock trades at around 71 dollars and 23 cents. However, analysts think that the company is extremely undervalued right now because they say that the company on the bearish negative end is worth at least $82 and on the high end for the next 12 months, the analysts say that it could be as high as $255 per share. So right now, clearly PayPal is trading at a steep discount and this is why I personally have a check mark next to this company because I personally am buying into this company as we speak. PayPal does have mixed results when it comes to their finances because because like we said earlier, they are experiencing some slowing financial metrics. However, they are consistently adding new active customer accounts and their customer engagement is absolutely phenomenal to where their active accounts and their customer engagement actually rose by around 9% and 11% for the year respectively. So overall, that is fantastic news. They also offer a lot of other services like a buy now, pay later option. They offer crypto trading and they even have a shopping deals with Honey. This means PayPal has has a very broad ecosystem and they have created a very strong loyal customer base which is going to increase their overall financial metrics well into the future. So clearly this is one of the best stocks to buy right now at a fantastic price below $100. The next company we're going to talk about is Unity Software, ticker symbol U, and this company allows game developers to create real-time 3D content and they are literally a leader in this space. They also recorded around 34 new deals that they signed in quarter one of 2022, each of these deals being worth over $100,000 in value, which would represent around a 126% increase year over year. The company also reported year over year revenue growth by around 36% just in the fourth quarter. However, that is paired with bad news because their net losses also jumped by around 50% per share. 
But Unity is another company that I also am trying to take a really deep look at. Now, I don't own as much Unity as I do of PayPal, but I am starting to nibble at this company because I think it's going to fall a little more. The company currently trades for around $32 per share, and the ticker symbol for this company is U. However, analysts on the negative end say the company is going to be worth around $30 in the next 12 months, while more bullish analysts say that it could be worth around $194 in the next 12 months. So overall, this is another fantastic company to buy, especially because it's cheap right now. It offers promising growth for their overall financial metrics, especially because the company has dropped by around 80% from their all-time highs. So clearly, this is a phenomenal buying opportunity right now, which is absolutely amazing. Next, I want to talk about another company, which is Roku, ticker symbol R-O-K-U. Roku, in essence, operates a television streaming platform, and they have a lot of reach, which is why some people are actually thinking that Netflix is going to plan to acquire Roku. I also want to add that Netflix is currently planning to launch an ad-supported tier pricing option shortly, which I think is going to absolutely be phenomenal for Netflix, and I still think Netflix is a phenomenal buying opportunity in the stock market right now, so there's a good honorable mention. The only problem with this is that Roku is currently worth around $12 billion right now, so it's going to be somewhat hard for Netflix to actually buy out this company. Currently, the ROKU shares trade at around $78.58. However, this is trading below the low-end analyst price target for the company of $80, and the high-end price prediction for the company goes as high as $508 per share. So this is another company that has absolutely phenomenal analyst backing, and they all think that the company is currently undervalued right now because the low-end analyst price target is $80 per share. They also have other partnerships with AMC Networks, Paramount Global, YouTube, and Disney, which are all competitors to Netflix, so we really don't know if they're actually going to team up with Netflix or not. However, regardless of that, they did post around a 39% sales growth year over year for the first quarter of 2022, which is absolutely insane for this type of company. So overall, I think it's a phenomenal buying opportunity. So again, it has another check mark next to it because I've been nibbling on this company for quite a while. Now, lastly, this article points out Match Group. Match Group currently sits at around $72 per share, while the company is set to be worth around $81 in the next 12 months by bearish analysts and $168 from bullish analysts for the next 12 months. Statista projects that the online dating industry, because Match is an online dating company, ticker symbol MTCH, is set to grow by only 6% annually from now until 2026, which to me is literally not impressive at all. However, they do have a massive 30% free cash flow margin, and this company is trading below $100 per share. And overall, that is extremely bullish for this very well-managed company, especially considering that with their 20% growth rate for their revenues, and they're trading at 24 times their free cash flow, it could be very attractive for long-term investors. However, I personally am going to be sitting out of this. Now, for our last Last two companies that we're going to look at, one of these companies I absolutely love, and that is Bristol Myers Squibb. And Bristol Myers Squibb is a very prestigious drug maker that has a phenomenal forward price to earnings ratio of only 9.6. And this is very competitive because the pharmaceutical industry, which they are in, actually trades at an average of around 13.4. So clearly, this is a phenomenal buying opportunity for this company based off of their forward forward price to earnings ratio. Also, I want to highlight that Bristol Myers Squibb revenue increased by a decent 5% year over year, which put their first quarter revenue to $11.6 billion. So I know a 5% increase may not sound like a lot, but this to me is a very solid company and I plan to hold this company for over 10 years. Currently, the BMY stock price currently trades for around $72.62 with the low end analyst price target being $63 and the high end price prediction going as high as $94 per share. Again, I already own a good amount of BMY stock, and I plan to even buy more because the current stock price is falling. They also have a very impressive drug portfolio, and in April, the U.S. Food and Drug Administration, also known as the FDA, actually approved their treatment for symptomatic obstructive hypertrophic cardiomyopathy. 
And on top of that, they earned another FDA approval for their treatment for melanoma. And that was acquired back in March. So clearly they are adding and expanding their drug portfolio. For investors who want to invest into this company for the long term, I think this could deliver them very prominent stock price appreciation. So this type of company should be in one of your long-term portfolios if you actually like this company for the long term. So again, I really like Bristol Myers Squibb. Now for the next company, which is Jazz Pharmaceutical, this is a company that I really would need to research more. I am somewhat familiar with this company, but again, I would not be comfortable enough putting my own money into this company, but I do want to put it on your radar because this company clearly is a pharmaceutical company that offers very good medicines for various diseases. Currently, they are trying to develop a treatment for epilepsy, which is absolutely phenomenal, and they also have multiple other therapies that they think are going to have a blockbuster potential. According to the current stock price, which currently trades at around $142.56, it is undervalued according to analysts because the low-end analyst price target is as low as $174 per share and the high-end analyst price target goes as high as $240 per share. And the ticker symbol for this company is JAAZ. So overall, I really like the sound of this company, but again, I just want to put this on your radar. At minimum, put it on a watch list and always make sure to do your own research. Overall, this company has a very strong portfolio of various medicines that they offer and their P.E. ratio is also very low, only trading at around 8.4, even lower than Bristol-Myers Squibb. This makes it very attractive for biotechnology stock investors, and it's really trading at a fair price point right now. Now, in the short term, I want to make it very clear that all of these companies could continue to fall again in the short term due to macroeconomic factors, but over the long term, remember, we're looking 5 to 10 years into the future, these companies are absolutely set for long-term growth, especially PayPal and Bristol Myers Squibb. But I would love to hear your thoughts down below. Remember to go and smash that like button right now. Comment your thoughts down below. Subscribe if you are new, and I will see you in the next YT video.